Hi, welcome back. This is Joe from Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're going to make sweet and sour chicken. And we have all our ingredients and quantities are listed below in the description. I'll just show you a couple of things. I cooked about a pound and a half of chicken breast. I boiled it for about six, seven, eight minutes. And in here I have a my pineapple juice, I bought a can of pineapples, just chunks, and this is the pineapple juice from it, plus sugar, vinegar, soy sauce, and ginger. All these quantities are listed in the description. And here I bought one big green pepper and diced it up. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pineapple juice, and if you don't get the can with the pineapple juice in it, buy pineapple juice by itself. And we're gonna put the sugar and all that, vinegar and everything, soy sauce, we're gonna put it in the stock pot. And we're gonna get this up to a boil. How you doing? This, I wanna remind you about the pineapple. You buy a pineapple packed in, in pineapple juice. You'll get about a cup of pineapple chunks and you get enough juice if not buy a little pineapple juice extra because that's what you're going to use in your sauce now this has been simmering for about five minutes now right now i'm going to just get our rice ready this whole meal can be cooked in the time that you're going to cook your rice and that's about 25 minutes so it's a quick meal and it's easy simple and uh Especially if you do the chicken the day before and or, or, or a couple of days before and put it in the fridge. We cook our rice the way we cook pasta in a large quantity of salted boiling water. It's a lot easier, I think, and it's less starchy, it's less sticking together and you don't have to be on top of it. Just cook it till it's tender and you're all done with that. So I'm gonna put that on. Now this here has been simmering for five minutes. More pineapple juice, ginger, and you can smell it. It smells great, right? Mm -hmm. Right, buddy? Now we're gonna throw our pineapple in here and we're gonna throw our peppers. And we're gonna simmer this for about another five minutes. that to a simmer. I'm going to simmer it for five minutes more, huh? Put the clock on it here. Zero, zero, five. Right. Okay. Okay. As you saw before, I threw, threw my rice into this boiling water. Salted boiling water. And you can see all the starch coming to the top. Sometimes I kind of skim this off. And that doesn't make the rice so sticky nice and se separates nice okay we got our rice cooking and this has been simmering for about five minutes now I mix my cornstarch and my water and like I said all the ingredients are listed in the description below and I'm going to put this in here and you gotta just keep stirring this until it thickens up it's a real easy meal to make, especially if you're busy working and all that. Okay, we got this going for a good five minutes. You gotta keep stirring that until it starts to thicken up. And you see it's starting to get real clear now. That's nice. Now we're gonna gently toss our chicken, diced chicken, into this. Heat it up. Does it not look good? Okay, here we go. We're all done. Chicken is up to par. Up to heat it up pretty good. Looks nice, don't it? Okay, we got our rice here. And we're going to place this right on top. Looks nice. Real simple meal. Now we get over here and we'll put a little 
noodles, a couple of noodles. Like that. And we're done. Okay, now this is enough for four people. You can make any quantity you want. Just look at the description below for the quantities of ingredients. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Good night. Thank you.